Hello, my name is Yannis Dizoglu and in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to export your project as HTML5 so you will be able to upload it onto the server and as a result people all over the world will be able to actually play your video game by using their favorite web browser. I will also show you how to actually export save the project as a C3P file, construct 3 project file, so you can actually share this with other uh, friends so they can actually do your friends can do the editing or colleagues or even your teachers so if i go to menu select project and select save us i'm just going to click download a copy my advice to you is always put clear name let's put clear name the game i'm just going to put 2d here as well to specify that this is a 2d game I'm just going to click OK and click Save. So now I have downloaded this file, the C3P file. I could actually share this uh, with uh, my colleagues so they can do further editing. So let's do a little, let's pretend that somebody else pick up this file to edit this project further. I'm just going to put this on my other window. I'm just going to close this project. I'm not logging on so I can actually show you the free version can actually do the stuff that I'm showing you. So if I click and drag this project over to my window, I will open this project. Another way to open the project is by going to menu, project, and then select open and then locate where your C3P file is. Okay, so now I'm gonna double click here. And I'm just gonna edit this further. Uh, okay, so I've done further editing. I'm going now to uh, menu, save project, and I'm going to download this. And I'm going to call this project Ionis Dissolve the Game Version 2. Okay, and click save. All right. The next thing I need to do is export this project as a HTML version. So I'm going to Menu, Project, and then select Export. I'm going to select Web HTML5 and click Next. I'm going to click Next. And then I'm going to select Download. Then I'm going to click Save. And then I'm going to click OK. Now I have saved this project. I will be able to see the zip folder here. So I've got my two versions. So I've got the 2D, ah, I forgot to put 2D here. So let's rename this. Let's call this 2D. Now let's put hyphen version one. And I'm just gonna put this here. So, sorry, version two. I'm gonna put here version one. And then I can actually see the progress that I have made. And actually the file size changes because of the change that I've made. Okay. So now I've got my project here. I'm going to go to my uh, control panel. And I'm going to, let's delete these files. In fact, I'm going to put here, this is the old version. I'm going to create a new folder here. I'm just going to call this three, folder number three. I'm going to double click here on the folder number three, click upload, and I'm going to click and drag to upload the project I just created so I'm go just going to reload here so I can see the zip folder I'm going to right click select extract okay let's refresh so I've got all my files here so this is the previous version that I had I've uploaded and now I'm just going to put here number three because that's the directory the new directory I created the new folder if I press the enter key as you can see, I can see the Construct 3 loading screen. And I can see the change that I've made. And that's my game. Done. And export it as HTML5. So people who visit now worldgamerx.com will be able to actually play my video game. I hope you've learned something new today. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.